can't believe our cleric friend still isn't back. He's been gone for weeks at this point. And we haven't really had any new faces arrive lately either. I don't know. This village is starting to feel a bit off. I'm still having bad dreams, but I'm going to try and go to sleep. Another bad night's sleep. What on earth were those rumbles last night? Still no cleric. Hmm, starting to worry about that guy. Looks like the farmer's okay. Wait, why is the blacksmith not working? Hello? Have we lost another villager? That's two of them gone. I'm going to have to speak to the farmer about this. This is getting too weird. Do you have any idea why people just keep disappearing from the village? Save them from what? What is this guy talking about? I'm going to continue fortifying and upgrading the village. Then they'll see that safe and then come live here again. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's keep making this village the best possible place to live. I think it's time to start getting serious. I'm going to do something that I should have done a long time ago. I'm going to find all the diamonds I can. Upgrade my armor, upgrade my weapons, build a proper enchanting station. Then I'll be able to defend this village from anything. Okay, I'm going to start digging this way. Ooh, nice. Got some already. Yeah, I'm just going to keep digging on this level for a little while. See what we can get. Oh, hello. Looking like our lucky day. Come on, give us four. Give us five. All right, I'll take four. Oh, hello. What we got? Got two. Six. <gasps> nice, we've got an eight. Oh, we got a nine. I'll take it. Thank you. Well, I've been down there for some time, but I would say all in all, that was a pretty successful trip. I think it's best I just go to bed and then we'll make the tools in the morning. Right, it's time to get down to business today. I'm going to start by feeding the cows first, though. We need as much leather as we can get. Morning, ladies. How are we doing? There you go. I've got lovely wheat for you. How much leather are we on? Okay, this ain't too bad. I've got another couple of stacks in the box as well. I'm just going to stick these in the furnaces for... Oh. Okay, yeah, I forgot we got rid of those. I'm just going to borrow the blacksmith's furnace for now. Pop you in there. Okay, so I want to build two things today. I want to build a nice enchanting station area. And I want to build a library to house all the extra books and knowledge. And I'm just trying to think where each of those are going to go. Fairly sure I want something to go over here, which will mean removing this hill finally. In fact, let's, yeah, let's start with that. Let's clear the land out. And then we can decide where the other building's going to go. This shouldn't take too long, though. Get rid of these ones. Quite excited for this. Been wanting to remove this hill for quite a while now. Let's get rid of these ones here at the back. I wish I knew why the villagers were all acting so strange all of a sudden. Everything seemed to be going so well a few weeks ago. I think when the blacksmith returns, I'm going to ask him where he came from. I can only assume the cloak's from the same village as me, as he's the one who nursed me back to health. I just wish I had more memories of what happened before I blacked out. He claims somebody attacked, but I don't remember any of that. I'm kind of taking his word for it. Right, there's all the trees gone. Well, let me just get rid of this last one here. Okay, I'm going to start to pull this hill down now. I'm going to start from the top, go layer by layer. This shouldn't take too long. There's not too many levels here. Okay, how are we looking? Yep, much better. Let's just sort these last two ones out. It looks like the crops are going to be exposed on this side of the farm now, though, so we'll have to run a wall around the outside, I think. Shouldn't be too much trouble, though. I'm just going to grab all this stone from the ground as well. I'm wondering, does this have to come down one more layer? No, I think that'll be fine. Okay, let's get this filled in. There we go. Perfect. And I've just realised we're running around with these diamonds in our inventory. Let's do what I was supposed to do and make a proper set of armour. Okay, how much we got left over? we got 12 diamonds left over. Let me just get rid of those. Perfect. And I guess I'll just make one diamond pickaxe for now, but I'm not going to use it. I want to wait until we've got the enchantment station set up. It does look like it's getting dark, though, so I'm going to go to bed and we'll pick it up in the morning. That does look a little bit strange. I think I do want to actually knock it down just one more level. I'm going to knock these out so we can open up the path a little bit. Yeah, I think that's wide enough. I'm actually going to bring the dirt around the back here like this. Yeah, this is giving us a nice amount of space for an enchanting area. I guess I'm just going to leave the stone here for now, as I'm trying to stone all the paths up anywhere. Now, in my head, I already know what I want to do with this enchanting area. So I want to just start marking it out. I'm going to grab some leather, and we'll make some bookshelves. I've been storing the leather in this box for now, so I'm just going to grab it all out of there. Oh, I just remembered we haven't been growing any sugar cane. Oh, we can't build the books yet. Okay, well, that's fine. I can go grab some of that. It won't take too long, and I'll just build the rest of the enchanting station while it's growing. Just need to find some local sugar cane. I can't believe I completely forgot about that. Okay, is there any down here? Just need two or three. To be honest, even one will do. Grows quick enough. Oh, there we go. 
finally. That was a bit of a trek. All right, let's get these things home and start growing them. I'm just going to place them down here now. This is our closest little bit of water. Oh, was that more as well? Oh, we had some right next to the village the whole time. Let me go pick that up. Is there any more around here? Doesn't look like it, no. Yeah, I'll just keep checking back on them. All right, let's get back to the village. All right, I've been prepping a little project box, which should have all the materials we need for this build. The only thing I don't have, though, is some moss and some mossy cobblestone, which I really want because I want to make, like, an ancient kind of ruin build. So I guess we're going to go have to find a lush cave somewhere. And I think I know where one is, actually. Oh, yep, yeah, here we go. This is the place. I would love some glow like them while we're down here as well, but I'm not sure how much of that we're going to find. Oh, there are some vines. Yeah, I'm going to smell some of this raw iron down and just grab some... Oh, wait, do we have any coal? No, we don't. We have wood, though. Yeah, I'm going to make some shears so we can grab these vines. Oh, there's glow like in there. Does this stuff grow with bone meal as well, I wonder? Okay, well, that's brilliant. Let me go get the shears. Craft you. Lovely. Perfect. That is perfect. Still going to grab the vines while we're here, though. Right, let's get some more moss and then head back upstairs. Oh, actually, while we're down here, the library I want to build is going to be made out of bricks. Might as well grab all this while we're here, too. Yeah, that's worked out really nice. I've had the glow lichen on the ground for quite a while here, and it doesn't seem like anything's happening, so I don't know how to grow this stuff. I'm assuming bone meal works, though. So I'm just going to grab all the seeds out of here, and then we can just chuck them in a composter. Okay, I got 10. That should be enough. Okay, please work. Okay, brilliant. I think that's the first time I've ever done that. Let me just go ahead and get these picked up. Okay, great. There's been quite a lot of time passed since I planted the sugar cane as well. I've already had a few trips. I'll go see how it's looking now. Oh, looks like it's all fully grown. Yeah, perfect. I think this should be enough, to be honest. I'm not going to make this any bigger. So grab the top two layers of it all. Okay, I got a couple stacks from that. Honestly, I don't know how much you need to make books, but I think we should be fine. I know we'll definitely have enough to make the full powered enchanting station, but I also want to build the library later as well. And by the time we get to the library anyway, I'm sure it'll have just grown again. Yeah, to make as much paper as we can. Lovely. Okay, I went and grabbed some birch wood. How many books can we make out of this? Um, hello? Oh, leather. I forgot about leather. Of course. Morning, ladies. Not actually here to kill you today. Okay, let's try that again. We got 46. I think that's just enough. I'm sure it was 65 or something, wasn't it? Oh, that was just enough. That's crazy. I'll take it. Thank you. I want to be careful with where I put these because I know it's a bit of a pain to pick them back up without a silk touch. In fact, I'm just going to knock this out and get some more dirt down. Okay, perfect. I'm just going to mark out where I think the table's going to go first. So let's just say the table goes here in the center. I know it's a little bit off center, but it's fine. So the table goes there, which means bookshelves will come around here. Go all the way along to there and to there. Okay, so we've got our main shape in. Like I said, I want to make some type of ruins. So what I'm going to do is leave a two block gap. So come about here. I'm going to go one, two, three along like that. Yep, yeah, I'm going to mark that there. I'm going to do another one of those over here. Mark these out. I'm going to do another one at the back. I'm going to keep these smaller though. I'm just going to go one, two, one, two. And then let's say one here as well. Um, let's not have those even though. So maybe knock them back to there. And then each of these squares is going to represent some type of old broken down tower that we're going to raise up. They'll only be small, but I think it'll look nice once they're all in. Okay, then let's get these bookshelves in. If we go like that. Bring that along. Hope I'm doing this right. And I think... So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think we'll bring it along on that side. And then maybe just bump those two up there. We don't want this looking super even. Inside there will be the enchanting station. We'll get that part done last. I just popped to bed because it was getting dark. But I think we're ready to go on this one now. Although coming around this side, I think maybe this needs to move along by one. Wait, where are the other one? There it is. Let's do that instead. Okay, yeah, we should be ready for this. Let me grab the right materials that we need. Okay, I'm going to start off this tower here. I'm just going to knock the bottom layer out. Mark the moss in there so we don't get confused. 
I'm gonna grab some mossy cobblestone as well. Oh, we've not crafted any. Okay, let me do that real quick. Okay, let's plop a few of these in like that. I think I'm just gonna do one more level. And this one I want to start putting the core stud in. Yeah, we'll do one more layer of that. And then we can start transitioning the granite in the top there. And this is why I've got the glow lichen as well. So we can start just transition this a little bit easier like that. And then I want to get some upside down stairs like that. And just bring them all the way around. I will maybe just change this a little bit. Make it look a bit more broken. Could even take the corner bit out there. Get a few mossy cobble on top. Fill the rest in with granite. And I think I'm just going to use walls for the rest. Yeah, I like that. It's going to look better once it's all blended in. Okay then, let's do another one. Let's start over here. Well, let me go bone mail a bunch of glow lichen as well. I'm going to need that. Okay, I only got an additional five, but to be honest, I don't think we'll need much more. Okay, let's get some mossy cobble down. And we can just fill the rest in with moss. And bring this one up again. Wait, what do we put on that level? It was coarse dirt, okay. And next level up was granite. And then if we want to put some glow lichen down like that. Let's make a blend a bit better again. I kind of regret keeping this on the ground now. We should have raised it up one more. Everything else in the village is raised up. Ah, it'll be fine though. Not going to worry about it. Just want to go around the side here again. Get the stairs in. And then let's just knock some random ones out. Yeah, I think that's enough. And then I want to just raise this corner up. And maybe we can put a wall on there. Maybe a mossy cobble? No, it looks a bit weird, that. Let's just go with the wall. Okay, yeah, perfect. That works nicely with that. Mm, I'm wondering if we should maybe get some campfires in the middle of those things, so the smoke rising out of them. Let's try that. Okay, let's see how this would look. I'm just plop you there, and plop you there. Oh, yes. Okay, that's much better. Okay, let's build these last two towers up at the side here. These ones should be quite a bit easier. So we've got moss moss, cobblestone, coarse dirt. And how are we going to do the stairs? I think they're maybe just like this. Yeah, there we go. Then we can have a wall there. That should be enough, honestly. Then let's just blend this a little bit better. So we've got cobblestone. Yeah, we can maybe put moss there as well. Maybe another mossy there. Should put some walls in. Oh, we can also do mossy cobblestone walls. I forgot about them. Yeah, the skinnier ones look a bit strange, but I'm just going to roll with it, to be honest. It's meant to look strange. Okay, we got the moss, the mossy cobble, the coarse dirt. I'll bring this up one more. Oh, yeah, I'm liking that quite a lot. Definitely gives the mystical vibes I was going for. And since I kind of regret not building this on an incline, I'm actually going to have the ground raise up, and then the enchantment station can be in the ground underneath it. So I'm just going to go around and bury this in first. Yeah, have a kind of come around like that so it's circular. And then that just allows me to go around and conceal it. Put some dirt in the back. Maybe knock those out. And then we can look at getting some mossy cobblestone in there. I'm going to go around with some slabs afterwards to kind of clean it all up. Kind of losing the circular feel in there though. And get rid of this corner. Okay, and if we can grab some granite slabs. Can maybe drop that down like that. Okay, there we go. It's already looking much better. I just want to continue the stone around here, I think. Maybe it's time to grab the andesite out the box. Okay, let's bring that up here. Plop you on there and there. Maybe some around the side there. Okay, perfect. Maybe we need some stairs as well, actually. Get some different shapes in there. Get one in there. Maybe one in there. And I think maybe just some cobblestone slabs to round it all off. Let's put those up here. Maybe some on there. I do like leaving some of these bookshelves exposed though. I think that gives quite a nice effect. Get that filled in more. Maybe, maybe put some granite slabs down as well. Now I've just went to grab some shears to pick these bits of grass up and transfer them over. Maybe grab some leaves while we're at it too. Here we can put these on the bits of moss down here like that. Maybe coal stir too. Lovely. And then if we just chuck a few leaves in. Put one there. I'm gonna be super sparing with this. Maybe just wrap them around the corners there like that. I think maybe one there. Yeah, I think that's perfect. I do want to just knock this out here though. And replace with cobblestone. I'm thinking maybe the same here. There seems to be a lot of andesite on this part. Right, gonna extend the path out. 
get rid of all this rubbish. And then we get some gravel down as well. Ooh, and a little bit of cobblestone. Yeah, it's looking really nice. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do here, though. Maybe just some stairs. Maybe not stone brick. It's going to look a bit too clean. Go with andesite. Maybe just go around like this. And then this part, I'm sure we just put some slabs down. Although, no, I think that's going to block the enchantment station. Okay, let's, um, let's bump this down by one. Get rid of these as well. I'm going to replace these with cobblestone, I think. Right, let's go make the enchantment table. Where did I put the diamonds? Have I lost them? Oh, I think I put them in the farmhouse, actually. Perfect. Go plop it in the middle. Beautiful. What we like to see. I really like that. I really like how that just sits in the centre. Yeah, perfect. That makes me feel a little bit less guilty about not building this on a ramp. All right, wonderful. Let me go grab the lapis and we'll get enchantment. Right, moment of truth. After all this time, please give us something good. Efficiency 4. Oh, I'm not even level 30. Okay, well, that efficiency 4 is a good sign. Let me just run into the nether, mine some quartz, and I'll come back when I'm level 30. Oh, let's grab some gold boots. Oh, it looks like we might have to break into the new diamond pickaxe. I should have brought a bag of iron one with me. Okay, I can grab a little bit more. I don't mind breaking into the pickaxe a tiny bit. Okay, we're actually going through more of this pickaxe than I thought. Maybe we'll just make a fresh one, I suppose. Oh, level 30. Okay, brilliant. Let's go back. Okay, I really hope this is a good one. Because I've only got enough for one. I'm going to make a brand new pickaxe as well. I want it as fresh as possible, I think. Fresh pickaxe acquired. Let's see what we get. Please, I just want unbreaking three. All I want, just unbreaking three. Oh. Okay, I've got some more levels. I've got a grindstone this time. Do you want to put there? Come on, I'm breaking. Ooh, yes, I'll take it. We could probably get away with one more, actually. Let me go grab the other pickaxe. Maybe we can roll a fortune. Okay, here we go. Fortune three. Oh, it actually happened. We are officially in the money. That is brilliant. That's going to be really handy for when I want to make a beacon, which is going to come up very soon. I mean, it's probably pretty obvious at this point, but I don't really want to rely on any overpowered farm. So if we're building a beacon, we're doing it legit. Going to go digging for that iron. All right, now that's sorted. I want to build a library in this place, but I'm not quite sure where to put this one. I did mention it a while ago, but we've kind of built ourselves into a corner here by just doing it all in a circle. I think the more obvious place to put it would be over here. It means we'd have to get rid of these trees and fill this land in, but it should work as a location. I wonder what that would look like. The only other option is up here where this rubble is. I don't really want to tuck it in behind this thing. So yeah, I think the right thing to do would be to just knock those trees back, flatten the land out, and we'll pop it over there. There's not really too many trees here either. I don't think this will take too long. Yeah, it's definitely enough space. Just need to go grab some dirt to fill the land in. Okay, I think I want it to be on this level here. I'm just going to bring this dirt around. Okay, so I've gone ahead and flattened the land off. To be honest, I think I've done a little bit too much, but it's fine, because once we build the library, I can just fill the rest in with trees. And I'm just trying to decide where exactly I want this thing to go. Now, obviously, I want it in this corner over here, but I just don't know which way it needs to face to look good in the village. I feel like we should build it the same orientation as the windmill, to be honest. You know what? I'm just going to grab some blocks to mark it out, and I'll see what it looks like. I do want, like, a front porch area on this. I'm going to go one, one, two, three, one. Is that right? Yep, then I'm going to come back by three. So one, two, three, come out one, then leave a gap for a window, plop you there. I'm going to go back by five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm just going to do the same on this side. So along by two, pop that in so there can be a wall there. And then one, two, three, four, five. You know what? No, I'm actually going to change this. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to move this over. I'm actually going to have the window on this side. So I'll plop you there, come forward by two, then in one. Is that right? No. Needs to go along by one more. Pop you there. And then along by two and in by one. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, that should work. How is that going to look from the house? Let me get a good view. You know, I'm not entirely sure if I'm sold on these leaves on the side of the path. Looks very busy, doesn't it? Might have to come back to that. Yeah, that'll work. Campfire is kind of obstructing it, but yeah, that'll work. I should already have everything. I just want some spruce wood, some dark oak, and some calcite for this one. Oh, and some bricks that we got from the cave earlier. I'm going to start pillaring up from the sides here. I'm going to go up by four. So one, two, three, four. Then that goes up by five. Do the same on this one. 
And then, yeah, it's going to leave us room for a window in the middle here. I'm going to do the same in the back here. And I suppose it makes sense if this is just the same height. Yeah, and I think on the fifth one here, I'm going to start with running the roof trim along. Bring us out by one. It's going to look very similar to the roof that we have on there and there. Yeah, and there. Okay, so up by one each, then up by two. Up by two again. Wait, no, up by three. There we go. Oh, I did get this wrong. Okay, so yeah, we'll get rid of this one. And then plop three in the middle. Yeah, I think that's a nice size. We should probably get this joined up here. Bring us out by one, go along, up by two, and then up by three. Just going to repeat that on the other side here. Perfect. I'm going to bring this along, and I think we'll just come out by one there. And that should be parallel with that. Okay, yeah, it looks it. Then we should be able to just repeat this now. Oh, looks like we left one in there. I'll have to grab that. And I'm just going to run this along the back here. Should join up nicely. There we go. And let's just get rid of that little block. That shouldn't be there. I think we made the right choice having it face in this direction. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and fill all of this in with granite and brick now. I'm going to have a window in here, which should be that and that. And come along with the bricks there. This wall I'm just going to get filled in. I will put a window on the side. I've just not really chosen how to do it yet. Do the same around this side. Get those bricks in. Fill the rest of granite. And then just once more on the back. Hopefully we've got enough blocks. Just gonna randomize all this. I think we've got enough. Oh, we're short. We're short by one block, no! Uh, okay, I'll get some more. In the roof, we wanna just get a bunch of calcite and white wool in there. I've got a lot more calcite than I do white wool as well, so hopefully we don't have to spend loads here. I'm just going to see how far the calcite can get us first, then we'll just fill the rest in with the white wool. And we just go around the side here. Looks like we're a little bit short on calcite. I'm just going to grab some more out of the chests. I only had nine more blocks, but I think it'll be enough because we're going to have to change some of these out for white wool anywhere. Pop you in, just like that. Whoa, this thing cuts quick. Yeah, it's looking good. I just want to get the dark oak trims in the top now. Where is all the moss going? How come we've only got five left? Okay, I'll have to use dark oak planks for now then. Bring you across like that. Then I'm going to go one, two, three. One, two. Yeah, okay. Actually get rid of that. One, two. One, two. And then that. Just want to add some stairs on the end here too. And then same on the front. Got like that that. I want to get the bricks in the front here. I'm actually wondering if it makes sense to knock those bricks back one. Then we're going to have this peeking out quite far. No, I'm going to keep it how it is. I'm just going to take these two barrels away. Continue that spruce wood down to the bottom. Put the barrels here instead. Is that the first creeper we've seen in this place? I think it is, you know. Sorry, buddy. You're going to have to go. Easy. Okay, let's get some trapdoors on there. Some upside down stairs. And then just this. Same thing we have, same thing we have over there. Then we go trapdoor, trapdoor. Just get up top. Trapdoor, trapdoor. Then we're going to plop you in there. Lovely. Okay, let's get the glass windows in. we had the perfect amount you love to see it now it's gonna look a bit weird if we put a floor in here because we'll be level with the windows like that so i think what we'll do is actually have stairs there which lead into the ground and we can put the spruce flooring down then i think this will make a lot more sense on the inside and that looks a little bit funky i'm just gonna bring that Cross like that. Probably just fill this back part in too. 
Okay, well, I'll have to go make some more glass for these, but for now... Oh, God! God, give me a heart attack! Oh! God, I actually jumped out of my skin there. I didn't know what that was. I thought it was like a creeper beeline or something. Oh, scary stuff. Okay, let's get these put in. Nice little flower bed. With no flowers in yet. Okay, the outside is more or less done. Just want to put a chimney up there and then that's it. It's finished. Okay, I'm going to have to take this slowly because this mines through the calcite so quickly. Just go up from here, I suppose. Maybe put you there as well. Should be about the right height. And two more. Okay, perfect. I want to tidy the spruce up a little bit as well. It looks too clean. Let me go grab some oak wood. Not got too many to work with, so I'm not going to go crazy. But I think if I just do that, plop one there, two there, one there. Now I'm actually going to put another one there. Oh, hello, B. Were you inside? He was inside. Yeah, it looks nice. This feels a bit blank, though, doesn't it? I'm wondering, do we have any dark oak stairs on us? Now let's make some. What would this look like? Put those there. And then maybe some dark oak signs could work. Okay, yeah. I like that. I need flowers in here. Don't really have any at the minute. Okay, I have very limited bookshelves, but I'm going to try and make something work. Let's go like this. Oh, hello. Yep, this is the new library. What about some more in the corner here? We also have some red carpet we can just splatter around a little bit. Did also grab some extra little pots, things like that. We can just place down on the tables. I mean, I've only got two azalea bushes, but I suppose these can just be empty cups. Did grab a bunch of item frames, though, we can put on. Maybe hang some up. We could get a painting on there, actually. Let's put a lantern up there. Maybe another one there. Yes, yeah, hang one in the corner there. Okay, there you go. That looks cozy enough. Happy with that. Now we just need to make a pathway up here, which should be easy enough. I mean, just grab the shovel. Then I think we'll have a curve around here. And then we can just go down and follow the path that we've already got kind of shaped out towards the centre. Okay, let's start bringing these across like this. We can get some slabs in there. Yeah, let's just start mixing these up. Get some on the side here too. Okay, I did just carry the path all the way along. I just want to see what it looks like from the house. Oh, yes. That's the one. Ah, oh, is it time to just get rid of that campsite? I mean, the cleric's still not back, but he's coming back. He's coming back at some point. I just feel like the fire's obstructing the um, <laughs> the view of the library from here. And I wanted to have a good look at it. I don't want to be in his bad books when he gets home. But yeah, I'd say this has been really productive. We've managed to get the enchantment station built. Managed to build ourselves a library. We've got our upgraded tools. We've added more path in. Yeah, it's been a good one. But I must admit, after all that, I'm pretty tired. I know the sun's only just come up, but you know what? I'm heading to bed.